Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Now that we've gotten into the basics of uh, how to handle blueprints, let's get started with our lesson. So here we are on the very front page of the blueprint, and if you look down in the corner of the print, it's going to be your lower right hand corner right by the clamp right down there. We're on page 0, 0.0, and your copy is going to be a clean copy, and you can follow along uh, much better with your copy. Right here, I want to point out something. That says uh, DPA Architects, and that stands for Design of Progressive Architecture. And we want to thank them very much for allowing us to use their prints for this lesson. You see, blueprints are copywritten, just like uh, movie scripts are and music and things like that. So it's intellectual property. You need permission of the owner in order to use these prints or even to build a project of this design. So we very much want to thank DPA in Scottsdale, Arizona for allowing us to use their prints because they thought it was important for educational purposes. Another thing that we have to point out and, uh, that a print needs to have in order to make it legal is in the same corner. It's got here, City of Peoria Buildings and Safety. This is a stamp where the City of Peoria, where this project is going to be built, they must approve this set of prints as well according to their local building codes. So you need that stamp on there. and. This stamp right here is for fire and life safety plan and that stamp must also be on print in order to have that approved. We can look at also in this lower corner since we're here, if you look right here that says development plan right there. And basically this is in an office park where there are several other buildings and it has our building highlighted where this one is going to be built and it says here 87th Avenue and this says Union Hills and Country Club Road. Now again we know that this is in Peoria. If we look at the vicinity map right here we have a street map and it says up here again on your print uh, project location it's the southwest corner of Union Hills and Country Club Road in Peoria, Arizona. So you need that information you need to know where the job is of course if you're going to be working there and building it. If we go on this side of the page, we might as well stay here. It says project team. It's got the owner, Brookman Development, they're the general contractor. The architect, again, DPA Architects of Scottsdale, Arizona. That's 7272 East Indian School Road, Suite 214, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85251. Phone number 480-941-4222. And again, thank you very much for their support. And it gives mechanical engineering, plumbing engineering, gives an engineering company electrical engineering company. So a lot of people put in a lot of work on a set of blueprints to make sure that everything on the building is going to be correct. Now if we go again project data, again we have the address again. The square footage, 3,631 square feet. It gives all other information. Government, governing building codes are the ones that are important here. Let's look down I want to find almost in the middle, 2002 National Electric Code. And even though the 2005 code is out, the municipalities do have a little bit of leeway as far as which code they're using. So the 2005 code just came out. This project must be built to the 2002 code. And we're more concerned with the electrical aspects of these prints. So let's move back a little bit on the print. We have here the sheet index, and that's this column of information right here. Basically what the sheet index is telling us is the uh, order of the pages on the prints. In other words, we're at 00, zero and that's title information sheet. And as it goes down, the A sheets through here are architectural sheets. You're going to find things like the floor plan, the millwork plan, which is the furniture, the floor and ceiling, the ceiling elevations, the floor types, the door types, things like that. Very important information as we'll get into. Next we have the M sheets, the mechanical plans, that's for your heating and cooling systems. P is your plumbing. E, the electrical drawings. Those are the ones where we'll spend most of the time in greatest detail with, of course. FP is the fire sprinkler piping plan. The FA is the fire alarm. And uh, so these plants, uh, fire alarm, we will also spend some time with there because there's a lot of electrical 
uh, details and a lot of electrical work that goes in with the fire alarm system. In other words, they're, they're very closely related. Lastly, what we have here is, are the general notes which apply to the job. And I want to point some things out on the general notes here because you need to look at these as they apply to the whole job. It says a contractor, note one, the contractor shall visit the site, the drawings and details, and report any discrepancies immediately to the architect and owner. So in other words, you're supposed to take a look at things, go over their plans and, the, and see that everything is in the right dimension. They have what it's going to take to build this building, that there wasn't an oversight in some way. So when you're a contractor, you're responsible that you have the ability to build this plan. Now, if the architect makes a mistake, it's kind of your responsibility to catch that. That's why you need to check that out. There's a, another note here that I want to point out here too is number 11. It says, do not scale drawings. Use the dimensions noted on the plans. This mostly refers to things that are very precise in location. When you're putting outlets along the wall, uh, typically you can scale off of the plan and you're going to go to the closest stud. Same with light switches and uh, lighting locations. If it's a ceiling grid, you pretty much know where you're going to drop the fixture in. However, there are certain pieces of equipment and certain locations where there, there's furniture and other things where the dimension, the exact dimension is given for the placement of your electrical device. You must follow what is given there in, instead of just scaling it off the print in, in that kind of a situation. This pretty much covers the first page. It's time now to go to the next page of the print and without turning the page we can see that's going to be A0.1 that's going to be standard notes and abbreviations. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this.